This is all the mold and mildew that sits inside of your home air conditioners. When's the last time you had your AC systems cleaned? Gross. So, Peter and I are at this dockless unit. Uh, this customer has two dockless head units that have to be cleaned, and we're gonna show you how we get that done. So we set a drop cloth down in our work area. We cleared all the, there were a lot of pictures here. We cleared those off just so we don't ruin any of those. Took off the cover and we're gonna disassemble a cover panel off of the unit completely. And then we'll hook up the bib kit so that we can come in with the power washer and rinse it down after we apply our chemical to clean it. And first things first is we have these three tabs right here that you have to pop out to uh, access the screws. So I'm gonna carefully, without damaging the plastic, pop those out. That's tricky to do one-handed, but I'll pop all three out and then we could start unscrewing all the screws around the unit. And with those out, you can see we have access to the screws and we have quite a few screws on the unit. So I'll just start taking them out one by one placing them off to the side so that we don't lose them. And I'll just do that with all of them. And then we'll pull the panels off. These side panels come off nice and easy, just like that. But uh, we're still gonna take off the main plastic panel. It helps keep the area cleaner when you're actually rinsing it, otherwise water We'll fill this bottom tray of plastic and run down the wall, and I don't like that because it could stain the wall. Okay, I'm record. So I just have the bottom three screws left to do. And that should be all of them. Now the cover should be able to pop right off. It's a little bit tricky. But usually if you pop the top, you can get the comes off, a lot of dust in it, that's why we have to drop cloth, and this, sometimes I'll pop them out, yeah, I'll pop this one out, so we'll start with our middles. that spring because that spring holds pressure on it so that it has resistance when it's moving and now see we have full access to the blower and we can really clean that out as well as clean the evaporator coil um, so we'll get the bib kit hooked up and I'll show you how that works and this is the bib kit by Speed Clean, it's just a five gallon bucket with a uh, bib inside, and that's what the bib looks like. You wrap it around the unit, you hook it on, and then you can clean it out really nicely and not worry about getting water everywhere because it'll catch it all and drain down. 
So here it is all set up. It funnels down into a bucket. You can see there's some dirt in it because it's always very dirty. Um, actually, I'm gonna put the electric cover on here just, just for some extra safety. Uh, I don't like to risk getting the electrical components wet. Can you put a screw on the impact and hand it to me? Or maybe get it in? Yeah, there you go. Good. Uh, actually, not good. Still loose. There. And if you want to take this, I'm going to take the cleaner and shake it up so it foams nicely. But I'm just going to spray it straight up into our blower. to break down all that grime. Um, when we rinse it with the hose, it's all gonna, or with the power washer, it's all gonna come off anyway. But I like to use cleaner because it helps a little. I'm also gonna apply it to our evaporator coil just to help break down any of that dust and debris and things like that. Okay, and you can see we got everything nice and coated, and you can see how dirty all of that foam is dripping down. So it's really breaking down all that garbage in there. You can see all the black specks, the mildew, and the dust, and it's just dripping down so much nastiness. There's also some bugs on here, so we're going to get in now with the cordless power washer, with the coil jet. And is it on? Uh, it's really on? Do you want to turn it on? The button right here. And you get some good pressure, but not too much pressure. And you want to hold this. It's okay if the camera ends up getting wet. I'm just going to show you um, how we'll start with cleaning the wheel. And the wheel will spin on you, so we'll hold it straight with a screwdriver in certain spots that uh, aren't getting clean but we'll just stick it up in there if you want to show the camera up in there and just blow that crud off and you can see how black and all the particles that do that so we'll do that for the whole thing and get it nice and really clean do you want to do it Really see all the black. This uh, stops so I could slow it down without breaking it. And now you can spray. So now I'm stopping the fan from spinning with the small screwdriver so you can get in there a little bit better. And we'll do that for the whole blade, both rinse down the coil. And now we just moved on to the coil. So this coil is really not bad at all, but we have the whole thing disassembled. We're cleaning the whole thing anyway. Might as well give it a good cleaning. So just spraying that coil down, um, just trying to remove any like dust or mildew and things like that. And regardless, you're going to get a little bit of water places. Um, but we have some paper towels to dry it off as that happens. And then for these components, I'm actually going to bring them outside. It's raining. I'll let the rain rain on them. I'll spray them with uh, some cleaner. But they're really not too dirty, just dusty. And if you take a look, you could see just how dirty all that water that we pulled out is. So that is all the crud that's sitting in these mini split systems that so many people don't even realize. And it really hurts the performance of them as well, because it reduces the airflow. It reduces the ability to pull the heat out of the air when the coil itself is dirty. So, these will work like they're brand new. So I'm slowly bringing in the clean vinyls one by one. You can see we took the bib kit off. 
Peter's just wiping down, doing the finishing touches on the unit itself. But it's like a night and day difference with how clean it is. Zoom in and look at that. Oh, let's wipe this spot right here down on the grill. But if you look at that fan blade, yeah, the grill needs some cleaning. But the fan blade is very, very clean. And behind the fan blade, the plastic following up. So this is going to be great. Okay, so we got the damper cleaned up and put back on. And one thing I always like to do is use this Viper pen and drain treatment. Because these coils and uh, these ductless units tend to clog very easily. So I'm just going to spray a light coating on the bottom of the coil. The last row, that's what the instructions say to do. As well as on the pan. So just spraying everywhere in there just to prevent any clogs from happening and to help it to drain nicely for, I think, a year. Let's see when it says, oh, every three months. So that's the instructions on that. And we can start to get everything put back together. So you could see, aside from a little bit here that we can clean up with some spray nine, the bib really keeps the area nice and clean. Uh, you just don't want any, like, nice objects around that you don't want any drops of water on. And I'm also going to spray a little bit of this cleaner in there. It's a no-rinse cleaner. As the evaporator condenses, it'll clean this off itself. But this will keep it smelling good. And the customers are going to expect it to, to be clean, so smelling good helps it to helps them to be assured of that. So that's why I like to do this before we uh, get the filters in and make everything inaccessible. And I'll wipe the excess off the plastics. And the filters, we gotta use those pieces right there, the air quality detectors. But I'm just gonna get all these screws in place and start throwing on the rest of the panels on the unit and we'll finish off this unit by giving everything a good wipe down and we could clean up our little work area and move to the second unit which is going to be the same process and we're just going to put everything back on this shelf but look at the size of this gray goose bottle it's almost the size of this ductless unit laid down next to it that's huge take a sip Okay, so here is our next unit. This one is even worse. Look at all of that. It's nasty. All that is circulating in the air as it's being cooled. Filters, dirty. I guess this customer is not a big fan of maintenance. Coil is actually really dirty. It's kind of hard to pick up on the camera, but it's, uh, yeah, this one is brutal. So we'll get all this cleaned up. Uh, let's make the drop cloth wider. Okay, so we're gonna start with taking off that cover panel, which that's not too bad in and of itself. And then we can remove the screws on the outsides. And as soon as you take those screws off, They'll go, if you angle it to the wall and pull out, it'll come out. Okay. Where's the electric cover? So we can put the screws in it. bottom so you got to pop out all those here's a knife here okay I mean I've had a knife here for five seconds yeah but that's a pain to get in there okay 
Let me put this back on my pocket now that I took it out and had nowhere to put it. Keep everything organized. And we'll get those last screws and then we can take our cover off. Okay, so I'm gonna pull that cover off. So that one is good. Did you get the screw in the electrical compartment? There's one cover screw in there. I don't know why they put it in there. It's a little bit of an annoying spot. It is what it is. Just getting it under this and the whole thing pops off nicely. Each model, they come off a little bit differently, but these ones are nice and easy. Ooh, dust is getting to me. So you're careful. Oh, got it. Okay. Dirty, 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 dirty damper. Look at that. All that grime. And if we can, let's put our electrical cover back on. That way we could protect the electrical, but oh man, look at this unit. Holy crap. Okay, so we sprayed a little bit of a uh, spray nine in there just to really break it down, but now we're gonna hit it with the coil cleaner. Spray the stream. Yeah, there you go. And really saturate that wheel. Let me grab a screwdriver so we could spin it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, let me spin it again. Okay. One more time. There we go. Now that whole thing is getting coated in there. Now, if you wanna hit that coil. You're gonna get splatter, it's fine. This we gotta keep over. And just thoroughly get it on there. A few passes back and forth at different angles and we'll have it covered. Okay, so we got it really, really saturated with that cleaner. You can see it's dripping down again, disgusting colored. So, let it sit for a second and then we'll hit it with the coil, uh, the coil jet. And we'll get these cleaned outside, just because it's easier to do it that way. Okay, so Peter's rinsing it off now. Remove all that debris, and just look how much is coming out of there. It's absolutely insane. This is disgusting. It's all running down into this bucket. Look at that. Some mildew chocolate milk. And our bag is actually starting to fill up because it's uh, plugged with so much nasty debris that it's having a hard time draining. But yeah, that is crazy. I'm trying to move it a little bit under you. It's still pulling black out of this thing. Okay, so we rinse, Peter rinsed it off really, really well. You can see how dark that water is once again. But now it's nice and clean. Um, now we just wipe everything down, get it dried off, and clean up the work area again and then reassemble. Um, the pieces are still outside, uh, drying off. I rinsed them off and I applied chemical on those as well. Okay, so everything's reassembled and Peter just is going down to plug the disconnect in and we'll make sure everything uh, runs okay. But came out really nice. Let's see so much. Oh, we got some specks falling down. So we wipe those off. It's never, you're never able really to get it perfect, perfect unless you like actually take the unit off the wall. 
So sometimes you'll get a black speck come down, uh, and even when the fan kicks on, you might get a speck or two coming out, along with some water will usually come out, but that's fine. Every, it can't be absolutely perfect, but it could be pretty close. Okay, we got the green light, so it's turning on. Okay, so it's on, it's running, it's cooling, and we'll make sure the same happens downstairs. Perfectly clean. And I thought that I forgot to treat the strain pan, but Peter remembered. So that's gonna be it for this video. Nice easy Friday, it's not even noon yet. Uh, we took, took our time on that one, uh, but I think something's been going on with the phones. People aren't able to leave messages. So uh, we're gonna head out and hopefully have a good weekend. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. Like the video if you liked it. Comment any advice or criticisms or feedback and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thank you.